Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 17 of the Assassin's Creed Black Flag walkthrough. So we're going to be continuing from where we left off. So in the previous episode, we raided Charlestown and stole a bunch of medicine for Nassau. And in this episode, they've pulled us out of the Animus. And now it seems we're going to go speak to Melanie LeMay. So let's get straight into Over here. It. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. At least she understands that was awkward. <laughs> Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melanie. I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Ugh, we just got ditched. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad. I'll update your communicator. It's very oh, weird that this it's is an hack. interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy Basic enough, maps. right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. It works. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier, you will deliver it. Full stop. Uh-huh. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works, hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. L looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Kind of a shitty boss. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? Do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. The guy is incredibly bossy, and a bit of a dick. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know, but then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. Alright, either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the tap. Oh, well done, kiddo. 
Find his computer. Make it... Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. This looks a tiny bit hard. Almost got fried there. Ah, oh, almost. reading this I'm not gonna lie if you guys want to read it just pause the video and you'll be able to do so you sneaky bastard a pirate through and through ain't you now get down to the lobby there's a courier waiting yeah that's right I've been planning this for a few hours now wait the receptionist hold on I'll try something Oh, she's crying. I wonder what what the dude said to her. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Time to hack. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh my god, this one looks so much harder. Oh, first try. Imagine hacking to see a logo. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Well, I guess his, I'm his servant now. Not much I can do. Too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, uh -huh. You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Hey, hey, bro. Well done, friend. Where's my coffee? Very well done. Apologies for my temper oh, tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Job interview. Yeah, God. just like right. I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself. I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. No, oh, poor guy. Oh, 
Because we're back in Nassau. Or is it Nassau? Uh, I don't Putting know. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> And how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. I suppose they want us to see what's going on. Oh, not really necessary. Not really, no, but I wanted to do it, so stop it. Oh. I'm so bad at this. Let's try and get this animus. I definitely do not want to do that. Oh. Sweet. I feel like we've not done a very good job of defending our ports. While we were slacking in the park, well, these guys just yanked. rocked up in. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigan. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a lick of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Sounds like a bit of a dick of a king. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Bit insulting. Rackham, Vane! The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. town as if it were your own. Ah! Aye. The king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful, how Please no shoot me. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards! Go on, 
Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamber. We see the old murderers, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. Oh. We must see about repairing this fortress. Well, that's not good. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Portal, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Shame. in the same way that we've entered the fort before in a previous <laughs> I don't know if I killed him or not, but whatever. Oh, there's a lot of 
of ships surrounding us now, isn't there? Surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the seas. Every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Do that! Stop! Any last word? Their boys when they come out of the shed. They might do. <gasps> like auto I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this, but in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace! Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. They should just shank both of them right there and be done with it. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we please. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you folks all headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! 
I need a drink. Who doesn't? Now let's see what's next. I'm gonna try do this chest again. I honestly have no clue how to get to it. Like, why is it underground? Maybe it's accessible from here? <laughs> oh, okay, so it isn't under the actual door. Back in though, because the uh, animus, animus fragment we still need to get. good it is to open. That makes this much faster. Why are they executing pirates when they're pulling for a pardon? Eh, I can't rule to climb all the way up there. Too much effort. Now we can hopefully go and try to do that synchronization. Oh. Maybe we save the king's From the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty. I wonder if there's a ship buried under here, or if it's literally just a detached mast. <clears throat> I'm dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that I'd be able to, like, jump into the bushes. I guess it didn't count as a haystack. Oh, sweet. All right, we'll do these two synchronizations, and then we'll do the warehouse, and we'll call it there. It seems we also have a treasure map, so maybe we'll do that in the next episode. But to be fair, I'm actually pretty bad with the treasure maps.
Okay, we'll, we'll get that one first up because we're gonna have to climb back up here anyway. This chest, no, no, those two chests, and then we'll head to the warehouse. And the sale has a lot of chests, considering it's an island that's literally ran by pirates. That is a bit weird. Chest in the sound now. Why would you ever try to do a, a plantation on a pirate island? That's literally begging to be robbed. much but yeah, it's, to be, it's to be expected since this is like the pirate island. You can imagine they probably get robbed literally every other week. Alright we'll do this synchronization then call it a day. chest. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be ending this video here. Please like and subscribe if you'd like more content to keep coming out. Have a good one.